Hi, my name is Nancy Adams. We are standing in the gallery area of the Orpheum Theater Center in downtown Marshalltown. And today we're going to talk just briefly about the collection of memorabilia that we have throughout the building, but primarily in this space. When the building was renovated, uh, about 10 years ago is when it opened, our intent was to feature and celebrate Iowans of the stage and screen. That's how we refer to those who are represented in this space. And of course, if you, if you uh, listen to the stage and screen, it also includes those who have theatrical backgrounds, stage, right, screenwriters, what have you. It doesn't always have to be a film personality. So over the years, we've uh, collected quite a few items, as you can see. We've had some individual donors, one of whom will be speaking later, Tom LaVille, who's given a great deal to the collection. And we have a, we have a great uh, group of volunteers who work here regularly. see it within this gallery space one of the one of the stars of the space if you will it's Jean Seberg she is a local Marshalltown girl born and raised and I I think arguably the the most famous person out of Marshalltown right but she has an international following that extends beyond all borders and across time way back in the project we, we decided to make Jean sort of a, a centerpiece of this collection and so she has proven to be that I thought to myself today, she's rather the patron saint of the O. <laughs> what we have here is permanent display, permanent in terms of this space is always articulated for Jean, though we do rotate because we have many, many items um, on her long career. Jean is known to the world because she won the starring role in Otto Preminger's St. Joan. And so this shelf in particular is donated to uh, memorabilia from that uh, literally life-changing moment and within which even though it features it does feature you know uh, historical photographs of her and Otto Preminger uh, it features a booklet that came out when the film came it features an actual ticket when the film was shown here at the Orpheum but in addition to that right in the center is a painting a contemporary painting done by an artist Paul is from England and and we have throughout the building actual current contemporary artworks done by current artists who participate in our festival by, by doing a rendition of Jean. For all people that have been born in Iowa, uh, we have opera stars, we have movie and television stars, we have over here, uh, when Walt Disney passed on his right to Mickey Mouse, he gave it to an Iowa man who drew Mickey Mouse, he was the official Mickey Mouse man, until uh, he was 85 years old and then he retired. So it's kind of good. Samuel Arkoff was a producer. He's the one that brought us all the beach party movies. He's the one that brought us all the bizarre uh, horror movies. Or here and looking at these, you can hear repeated over and over again, oh, I didn't know they were from Iowa. Oh, I didn't know she was from Iowa. And, they, and I'll hear it as they're coming down the, the lane here. I'll hear him say it five or six times. We have a lot of movie stars, but the stars of stage and screen can also incorporate historical people like Buffalo Bill Cody, who was born in Iowa. Uh, he was a showman, the greatest showman. We have one of the supermen. We have two supermen that were born in Iowa, George Reeves and Brandon Roth. He, they're both here. Uh, as you move down here, we can see all the different movie memorabilia. Here's another great person from Iowa, is, is the person who wrote The Music Man. Uh, Meredith Wilson is from Mason City. The butterfly effect with Ashton Kutcher, and most people know Ashton Kutcher. He's become quite a, a philanthropist at this particular time in his life, giving a lot of his time and energy to various causes. In, in this corner of the gallery, we pay homage to the, the history of this particular building, in addition to the history of theaters in Marshalltown, whether they were vaudeville theaters or movie theaters. And so we have uh, up here is that one of the original carbon arc projectors, from this 1949 Orpheum. It's one of two. We left, when we renovated the building, we left those original openings on top. They were mirrored on the other side, but that is where these projectors would go through, meet on the screen, and you'd have your images. These are some of the original RKO, Radio Keith Orpheum, who built this theater. Those are from the original tower. And so here we have some genuine uh, pieces of the history of this building. This built-in cabinet, talks about the history of the project of saving the building. And then over here, it's, uh, it's both Orpheum-centric, but it also talks about the Strand and the Odeon and the casino 
and other theaters in this town uh, that have since come and gone. And so this is what we really call our, our history uh, corner. It's more about structures than it is about people. Uh, what we have here is local talent. And these are people that are from either Marshalltown, Grundy Center, Albion uh, location, uh, kind of Marshall County location. And so these are all the local people. Uh, <clears throat> this center section is dedicated to Mary Beth Hurt, who is also a Marshalltown girl who went through our school system and everything like that. And then she went on to be a Broadway star and, 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 and several movies. Uh, people that you might be acquainted with is Toby Huss. He's been on several TV series and continues to be. We also have uh, world famous magicians that come from here. Here's a good example of T. Nelson Downs, who was called the Master of Coins. Joseph Kaczynski, who is our contemporary director here, that's out, he's done Tron and Oblivion, and over here, Only the Brave. When we were viewing Only the Brave here in the Orpheum Theater, Joseph came to the filming. And then after the filming, he gave us these posters, and all, all the posters have his autograph written on them. So that's always kind of nice to add to your collection also. Probably the second largest collection of memorabilia we have are for Donna Reed. Most people know that Donna is from Iowa. She, has, she was from Denison, Iowa. And uh, we have quite a few of her posters, and quite a few of these are smaller ones, are called lobby cards. Quite a few of those from the many, many movies she did, and a few photographs from her TV show. We certainly hope that you find your way to Marshalltown and to the Orpheum Theater Center and that when you are here you, you, you spend some time, you allow yourself some time to learn a bit about all the folks that you've learned a bit about right now. We welcome you to come to us. The gallery is open whenever the building itself is open. There is no admission to enter the gallery or to, or to be here. We have a coffee shop on site and often people will grab a cup of coffee and sit and uh, surround themselves with this, be inspired by this, and then spend some time looking and learning. So we certainly hope you join us here.